welcome to my video channel in this video i am bringing out a biography of grigor johan mendel the father of genetics this is the first uh, part of my new series on genetics which i am going to start from this video on words talk a lot about uh, gene cloning genetically modified organisms rtpcr pcr ngs dna chips etc all these things are part of a branch called genetics and in order to understand all these techniques and all these topics a basic knowledge about Mendelian inheritance is necessary. Genetics is no doubt the fulcrum of all the modern branches of biology, and foundation for genetics was laid by the basic research, the fundamental research that was done by Grigor Johann Mendel. second july 1822 mendel was born in a small village in the silesian province of austria now in czech republic his father was a small farmer he could not afford to send his son to the school till the age of 11 he did not go to any school it is uh, the local priest come teacher school teacher in the same place who persuaded mendel's father to send mendel to the school as a result of which mendel at the age of 11 entered the school in a small town industrial town called opawa <laughs> his education mendel joined alt brun monastery in brun now called bruno the church gave him the augustinian order and also gave him the first name gregor thus johann mendel became gregor johann mendel as we now know him one person who always stood behind mendel stood behind as the guardian of mendel was abbot cyril nap the abbot of the monastery mendel used to frequently get attacks of nervous breakdown and mental depression that's why mendel was sent to a local school in zomo by abbot nap where mendel recovered from much of his depressions and nervous breakdowns mendel took up teacher certification examination but he failed because of mental depression studies 
the church sent Mendel to Olomouc University where he excelled in physics and mathematics and he was graduated from this university in 1843. studies mendel was sent to vienna university by abbot knapp where he studied physics chemistry mathematics botany and various other subjects in vienna university mendel was attracted by two great scientists one is christian doppler the doppler effect fame and franz unger who actually worked a lot on hybridization Mendel returned from Vienna in 1853. Soon after his return from Vienna, he was appointed as the teacher in the Real School in Brunn. He worked as the teacher in the school for 14 years till he was appointed as the abbot of the monastery in Brunn. gathered ideas and skills at Vienna University for scientific research after learning this abbot nap permitted mendel to start his research in the monastery at thomas abbey brun as we all know mendel selected the pea plant pisum sativum for his research he spent 2 years 1854 to 1856 and screened about 34 different varieties of pea plant finally mendel selected seven pure breeding varieties with binary characters that is tall dwarf round wrinkled all right so this kind of varieties seven varieties of plants were selected by mendel objective of his research was to study inheritance that is transmission of characters from the parents to the offspring mendel conducted only two kind of experiments one is monohybrid cross and the other one is dihybrid cross in monohybrid cross he considered only one character that is the height the alternate forms of height are tall and dwarf in dihybrid cross he considered two different characters he took a tall plant crossed it with a dwarf plant and the hybrid that was produced 
was considered to be the F1 generation. The F1 offsprings were selfed to obtain the F2 generation and the characteristics both phenotypes and genotypes were later analyzed in the F2 generation also in the F1 generation. Similarly, he did the experiment even in the dye hybrid cross. There were two stages. In the first stage, he will actually do the crossing, that is artificial cross pollination, which we call it as hybridization. In the second stage, he would do uh, selfing and he will study the transmission of characters in both these stages and the data he collected from the studies were further analyzed. And he nearly screened and studied about 30,000 different plants during his research which lasted for 10 years. And because of this research which lasted for 10 years, he came to some conclusions by using his mathematical skills, mathematical logic that he learned in Vienna University. Based on his analysis, he gave three laws law of dominance, law of independent assortment and law of segregation which are a history now and these three laws are the basis for inheritance. These three laws explain as to how characters are transmitted from parents to the offsprings. Mendel meticulously analyzed the results of his research and he wrote his paper which is about 45 pages and he presented his research in the Brunn Society in the Natural History Society of Brunn in 1865. Many were interested in the publication and the presentation of Mendel because they did not understand or they did not like the idea of Mendel. As a result of which Mendel's research and Mendel's paper was kept in the cold storage till it was rediscovered in 1900.
1900, Devries, Shamark, and Currens rediscovered Mendel's work. In fact, they did not accept that they knew Mendel's work, but they did the research on the similar lines and obtained the similar results, and thus Mendel's work was rediscovered. But it was William Bateson who gave the rightful recognition to Mendel's work, who popularized Mendel's research, even though there was a lot of opposition from Darwinians. Inheritance is transmission of characters from the parents to the offsprings. Before the discovery made by Mendel, there were a lot of myths about inheritance. There were a lot of misconceptions about inheritance. Mendel and his research actually dispelled the myths about inheritance.